Hey guys, how's it going? Happy weekend. Um, I'm probably not saying that with as much enthusiasm as I should be. Um, why? Because this whole house moving situation is a royal pain in the butt. I, I can't even. And that's putting it very, very, very mildly. I'm supposed to be closing and getting the heck out of here next Thursday. And let's just put it this way. It's Friday. Still don't have all the details. So my house is packed up. Don't know how to forward my mail yet. Don't know how to forward, you know, I don't want to say don't know how. I can't really do any of the things that you normally do when you move, which is why, my God, I honestly don't know when I will ever buy a house again because just selling my house and getting out is making me yearn for the days when I rented, when I could just be like, lease is over, I get to move. Now it's like you're chained to your house. It's ridiculous. I digress. Anyway, I'm getting ready to do my workout. As you can see, I've got my cute DA Active top on. Um, oh, and I'm also going to tell you, my friends, I, uh, for those of you that know, of course you know. If you're tuning into this, you know. It's like pouring rain outside. Very strange. It's like, yesterday it was so humid. Out of the blue, it was like 103 degrees here in Chicago. And, um, now all that humidity has turned to like a downpour. Um, but ever since I started running, I've been asking a lot of questions because I've kind of really gotten into it really fast. Um, and compression socks, or compression wear, if you will, is one of the things that came up. So um, these gentlemen from Swift, I hope I'm saying this right, Swiftwick, were kind enough to send me, um, and I really still, I, I want to, Hopefully we're going to do a chat with them so you guys can tune in to like a Twitter chat. Because I think that, you know, so many people are like me. You start running um, or you see a product like this and you're like, I don't know what I should do it. But you want to know why and what's the science behind it. Um, but, you know, long story short is I know that there's something. This is Kelly's stupid way of trying to tell you. Like, I, I have no idea if this is scientific or even what they have me, have me say. But I know that some there's something to be said about the compression wear that, um, I don't even know if I'm gonna say this right. I'm gonna sound really stupid. Is it that it's kind of, uh, I don't even know. I'm not gonna say it because whatever I was about to say, I'm sure is the total opposite of the way I'm supposed to describe compression and why it's good for you if you're a runner. Um, so I'm not gonna do it, I'm gonna let them do it. I'll put a link to their site. Um, but I will tell you, um, you ne I never would have thought, so these, if you can see, look at these sassy things. I never would have thought I'd ever wear knee socks that come all the way up to my knees. But let me tell you, I've tried one other pair. My hair's doing funny things back there. Um, I've tried one other pair of compression socks and I, I have to tell you, it really does make your runs, especially, you know, your calves can tend to get extremely tight and insanely painful, full of pain, if you will. Um, so I really am starting to favor wearing these all the way up to the knees. My, here's how this whole sock conversation started. When I work out at home, I have workout socks and I don't have to think about wicking or blisters because you're not, you don't get blisters from just doing like weight training. I feel like my boobs cook it. <sighs> um, but anyway, when I started running, I only had so many pairs of socks that were, um, I had all of these socks that had been sent to me or I bought before that were, you know, supposedly for running, supposedly, excuse me, for running. But here's my biggest pet peeve. They didn't come up above your tennis shoe. Yes, I call them tennis shoes. Um, they don't come up above, you know, the, the, the top part of your tennis shoe. So if they're down below that, then you're running and the back part of your, if that's your heel and here's the, you know, your shoe, it's rubbing against your ankles and then you get blisters around there. So the first thing I started to ask was, does anybody make any running socks that you won't get blisters from, so it's gonna wick the sweat and you won't get blisters, but that they actually come up above. I'm not looking for like those, what did they used to call those? Where they, there was a name for them back when I was growing up and my mom played tennis and they had little balls on the back. And 
anyway. But as you can see, even their short ones come are gonna easily come up above uh, the tennis shoe, which makes me happy. Now here's a couple of things I will review. And again, full disclosure, they did send these to me um, because I'm special, but uh, they didn't tell me what to say, obviously. Um, best socks matter. Swiftwick is the solution for your feet. 60 joints, 200 ligaments, and 35 muscles. Dang. Uh, manage compression. Proven. Okay, here we go. Here's your things. Reduce swelling, improve blood circulation, and increase your endurance. Sculptured footbread. I can't talk today. Assures maximum comfort and blister-free environment. Blister-free is key. Uh, moisture management. Materials and designs that effectively wick moisture without the use of chemicals for the ultimate dry fit. So, I'm not doing cardio today. I'm not doing my running today. Oh, look, I kind of match. Um, but I will be wearing these tomorrow, and I will give you my review. Um, this was the other color. Not that this is the, these are the only colors. But I had a really good conversation with them, and I really like what they're doing. So, you know I tried the Pro Compression, and now I'm going to try these. A um, lot to learn about compression, but I will say, nothing bad about it. All good. If you have any questions, don't ask me. Um, so I think today I'm going to be, and this is going to be my final week, um, so this will be, I hope I'm correct on that, week six of doing Valerie Waters, um, I'm doing her Bikini Body Express, then she's going to tweak my workout starting next week. So today I think I'm going to be doing, wait, I think I just did Miami. God, I can't wait to go to Miami. I think I'm doing Ibiza today. Which, let me just tell you, two things that will make me swear at Valerie very shortly. Well, the pike, definitely. Um, Bodyweight row with the ultimate, um, of course now I can't think of the name. What is that? Ultimate dip station or something. Um, I am, because of my grip. And then, let's check and see which, what has, can't even talk today! Oh, body saw. I'm rolling my eyes, but I'm rolling my eyes in a good way. Here's, my back is really bothering me today. Um, here's a couple things. You know what else is bothering me? Freaking back fat. Um, I've said this before, that is like the number one area, and, and as I've, I will tell you guys, I'm not spending as much time as I was in the past, you know, going in the mirror, picking myself apart from head to toe, but when I do, um, you know, check my reflection. Definitely see that I'm making progress. Definitely see that I'm getting leaner. It's just a little frustrating. <laughs> you know, and I can definitely see that I'm, I'm losing the back fat that you get at this time of your life. Um, it's just, it's, annoying. it's so annoying. I'm like, who, why do I have, why, why, why can I go like that? <laughs> back. It's just like being old sucks in that part. But the thing is, is it's all changeable. So there you go. And I will tell you, I'm feeling very, very good. Um, the running, um, here's the thing. Running is going great and I love it. I went running yesterday, went to Lifetime Fitness, got on the treadmill. Um, I think I'm still at that phase where, number one, my body's getting used to running again. I have to remember that. Your body takes a while to get used to running, and perhaps that's that's why when I first started running, it took me a while, and then I was able to breathe. So it's, it's not just that I have to learn how to chill out and not, I'm over-focusing on my breathing. I get on the treadmill or I start running and I'm like, okay, breathe the right way. I think most people just go run, and maybe they're not like me. It's kind of like me if I go swimming. I'm so worried about getting water on my nose that I'm like, I can't just, people go, just dive in. I'm like, how do you dive in? The water's gonna go up your nose. So I'm always holding my nose. I think this is what I'm doing for swimming. I really wish I didn't have all these issues, but what are you gonna do? Um, so I, um, I ran yesterday for three miles, and here's what I did. I warmed up for three minutes, and then I went to, I, I put it on 4.5 miles an hour. Now, that carried me through two minutes. So I did two minutes, two miles. Did I have cramping? Yes. Did I have to continually keep going, blow out through your you know, diaphragm and so on? Yes. Then what I did is I actually, I'm trying to think if I stopped. I think I stopped and stretched, and then um, went back at it for the, the third mile. And towards the end of the third mile, I sped up because I, I was kind of like going, 
what the heck? If I'm having cramps this entire time, why not just speed up? Maybe it, maybe if I run faster, I'll, I'll focus less on my breathing and screw it up less. Um, so I kind of jacked it up to five miles an hour and then 5.2 miles an hour. Um, so I finished three miles in just about 36 minutes. Um, you know, it, it's just gonna take time and I'm, I'm willing to do it, but I feel great and I will tell you this, by the time I got home last night, I was like, where is my body wrench? My, um, my hamstrings were so tight and my whole, my whole lower body, I was like, and of course, I didn't stretch, I'm not gonna lie. So my whole body, my whole lower body was like, what, what, hello, what? So it's all good, I feel great. Um, my legs are definitely getting leaner. Um, the very last place, of course, that I'm losing weight is, um, this, you know, it's slowly coming off the back part below the bra and then um, my tummy. And these are all areas that when I was younger, never had it. Before perimenopause, never had it. Um, so I warn this to you, ladies that are younger, when you see anything changing, the more that you can just be aware of your body, you won't be as annoyed as I am at having to deal with it. I'm, I'm fine because I can, I can deal with it and I can change it, but it's freaking annoying. So that's it, I'm gonna go do my workout. You guys have a good weekend. Pray for my sanity. Maybe donate a couple hundred thousand dollars so that I can just <laughs> move and not tell anybody and just go somewhere. That's what I'd like. Can somebody just give me some cash so that I can not have stress for a while and not be in this, I mean, you know what it's like. You quit your job and start a business, you have no money. <laughs> in the middle of all that, I'm moving. Somebody, I gotta go. You guys, I'll talk to you later.